right, welcome to another episode of the Bricks Family. Today we are going to do something a little different. Um, we are homeschooling our kids for the first time this year, and we thought it'd be fun to do some Lego education um, sets. So we just ordered our first one, and it came today. Yeah. And we're going to unbox it and take a look at it and give you our initial thoughts. And um, yeah. Here we go. All right. You want to do the honors? Go for it. I feel like I don't want to cut it. Here we are. Let's go for it. All right. Ooh, what's this? Does it say on the other side? Science and technology activity pack. I wonder if this is like a CD. Yeah, let's, let's take a look. Do you want to open it? <laughs> go for it. You got it. <laughs> How does it? I think it's right here. Okay. There you go. Let's see what's in here. So this is a CD. Looks like CD-ROM. Does it say on the back? System requirements. All right, we will check that out. We will let you know. All right. What do we got? This is, it looks like the meat of the package. We have some, some air bags and then this is this is a teacher's guide, so it probably has all the lesson plans and ideas. Comes um, in, in a binder. Oh, nice. That looks like a lot of fun. Cool. There you go. All right. Should we, do you want to cut this open or do you want me to? Go ahead. So it's set number 9689, and it has, um, I think, 204 pieces. It comes in the tub here to it's store nice. it everything. Little, yeah, like a little storage thing. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, uh, I'll let you open that. Yeah. If you can figure out how. Oh, there you go. Let's open it over here. Put it up here a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Like a, it's like a pieces guide. Yeah, it looks like a little pieces guide. Okay. Shows you the different ones included. It comes with a little, it's like a hard plastic tray. Oh, that's, that's pretty sturdy. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Cool. And your bag. Nice, so interesting. This is actually outside the packaging and it's heavy. I think there's maybe magnets or something inside of it. I'm not hmm. sure. It's this one here. That's really interesting. It rattles. I don't know if you can hear that. We'll have to look into that a little more. But yeah, and then uh, it looks like it's got a brick separator. Some technique type pieces. Mm -hmm. See a couple uh, minifigure heads and bodies there. Yeah, it's some different gears. Which will probably be nice. fun for pulley systems. And... Awesome. I like, I really like the storage bin. It'll be nice to keep it all together. Yeah, especially while we're using it for specific lessons, keep the, those together and separate. So when you go to do an activity, it's all there together. Yeah. Let's see what this is. Oops. It's a little harder to open. Um... Oh, these look like cue cards or in, oh, they're there you go. They're instruction manuals. So these are wow. So there's one. There's an instruction manual for the brick separator. <laughs> um, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're listed as A, oh, B, C, D. So my guess is they probably correlate to different lessons here, maybe for your gears, wheels and axles, levers and pulleys, oh, probably. Nice. Very nice. So it's actually, there's quite a bit that comes in the box. All right, so here is everything we pulled out of the box. Um, let's start by mentioning what the set is. I think we missed it at the beginning. 
So it's, um, it shows here, it's set num, just kidding, it's on the side. It's um, set number 9689, and it's the Simple Mach Machines Lego Education set. So it says that here, yeah. Simple Machines. So, um, yeah, let's talk about, so one of the other things that we learned is this CD-ROM that we came in the packaging, I guess, is the same as this printed teacher's guide. Yeah, so it's just the same thing on disk if you need to reprint it or... Yeah, there's um, printables that you can use, like if you have it, if you're using it in a classroom, that you mm -hmm. can put up on the wall. There's also student worksheets included, so if you have multiple students that will be doing the worksheets, or if you just want to print them out for your students so you can keep the originals in here. Right. Um, cool. Yeah. Yeah, so this was more of, um, we're not going to get too in-depth, we just wanted to kind of show what was in the box, um, but let's just quickly, as parents, and now as, as homeschooling parents, we just wanted to share kind of our initial thoughts or hopes for what we were going to do with this and what we were hoping to get out of it with the kids. Um, I think because we're new, I'll start with because we're new to this, one of the reasons why we chose this one, uh, we looked at at the website and kind of what they had to offer. This is, I think, one of the the cheaper ones, is it not? Yeah. There's, but it, this is probably uh, about the price for something that would be that you would use for homeschool. That would be for like one family. There's there is bigger kits that have a lot more included that are much more expensive. So you could go that route. And then there's also classroom sets that would have maybe multiple of the pieces so that you can maybe have four groups working on the same okay. thing at the same time. Yeah. So this one, we didn't mention though, it's after shipping and tax came out to about 150. So that was the cost to our family. So that was one of the reasons why you picked this one. I, um, Andrea had done some reading on the website and we thought the Simple Machines one would be a fun way to get started um, with the kids. An additional reason why we picked, uh, we wanted to do the Lego education is because this is new to our family. Um, we just thought it'd be fun a fun thing to get the kids excited about learning and thinking about education a little differently. Um, and so in addition to being kind of exciting for us to kind of approach things in a new way, we thought it'd be fun to kind of give the kids something new and fun to kind of look forward to in this kind of period of and process of change for us. Yeah, I think going from a traditional classroom setting where you're sitting at a desk and you know, you have a teacher teaching a large group mm -hmm. of students to have this, the our daughters working on something more one on one, or even just the two of them together and problem solving. This pack includes a lot of like, you know, predicting and problem solving and kind of working together. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to see how that works with a f kindergartner and a fourth grader. We'll right. see. <laughs> cool. All right, um, so we do plan on posting specific videos for some of the lessons, if not all of them, as we kind of do it and share our thoughts about maybe what worked well, what didn't work well, what we liked, maybe some suggestions to tweak the lessons. We'd like to do that going forward, but this is just kind of uh, the beginning, and we wanted to share with everyone. Yeah. So thanks for joining us, and uh, please subscribe so you can see those and come back for more. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.